So the entire state has less than a million people, and we have low unemployment, um, and we are fighting the image of the construction industry. And so we also don't have a very diverse state. That's the other thing is we don't have a very diverse state. In fact, I was actually looking at these statistics, and we're still 85% white. Um, and about 50% male, 50% female, pretty, pretty common there. So just looking at those demographics and looking at the low unemployment rate and you combine that with that it's not necessarily an industry that's attractive to females or, um, or, or it has been portrayed as an attractive uh, career to follow. So that really is what, we're, what we've been fighting for a really long time. Quite honestly, one of the things that I try to do is actually build up my own workforce. I mean, make them understand how important they are and that this is a good job and make them understand that they need to present themselves in a professional way so that when other people look at our careers, they're looking at it as a, as a place they want to come and a place they want to. So really, a lot of it is that what personally I can do is raise the image of my own organization and make sure um, that it is looked at as a desirable career. We can only combat by just actually showing success stories, showing success stories of those people that get the two-year degree or get the certificate and go on and make really good uh, salaries and have a really fulfilling and rewarding career as opposed to someone who might get a four-year degree and not be able to find a job. So I think what we can do is just to continue um, to not put down four-year degrees because we have a need for four-year degrees in our industry, but also to continue to elevate those stories um, anecdotally and, and shine a light on those stories. As we know, a lot of kids go to college and they might try a year or two and they might spend too much money, they might party too much, they might not like what they're doing, and then that's an opportunity for us. And so we've really capitalized on that by trying to find those students with summer employment and summer internship opportunities and getting them to get engaged in the industry. And you know, the male versus female thing, honestly, that's one of my, my primary um, areas that I really want to focus on. And I find that it's, real, it's even harder with females is trying to overcome the barriers that are um, put in by society, whether that's their parents, whether that's how they were brought up, however it is, those barriers are still there. So unless they had an influence as a parent that really encouraged them to do something non-traditional, um, it is still seen as not an opportunity for women. And so my real you know, passion is to try to figure out how we change that perception. We have to come together. So that's kind of what I said at the very beginning. It's like we have to look, each of us have to look out for ourselves. Then we have to look for the industry and we have to look out actually nationally at this whole issue. And so to me, the pilot is one of the, one of the tools in the toolbox and getting like a whole group of people like the Department of Labor, Department of Education, which is even more, to be honest, really a big thing compared to the Department of Labor, the South Dakota DOT, who we work with very, um, very closely, Federal Highway, all of us getting us together and all acknowledging that we all have this problem. And really when we start to solve these problems, we're kind of creating careers that they all need, that we all need, and we all need to get this work done. So it's, I actually think it's very exciting because specifically in our pilot, we're focusing on kind of underserved populations. So it's not just focusing on middle, middle school or high school students. This is like people that are employed, underemployed in an industry, or maybe have had um, not success in another industry and having them look at, okay, here's an industry where you can be successful and you can provide a great living for your family for the long term. So that's what's super exciting about it is that it's another area that has probably been underutilized in our state. We will provide that on the job kind of training and some of that will be supplemented by outside education opportunities, but we'll provide those. We, we just need to get them in the door and have the kind of skills that understand that this is an important, it's important to be here on time, that we rely on you, we have a short season, we need you here, um, we need you to be a part of a team, um, and so it's very exciting. Yeah.